Hello there, my name's Edgar. Packages are when you group together multiple treatments for sale over a specific period. Seasonal packages prove popular with clients, but how do you set these up and how can clients purchase them? Well, today I'll be showing you how using Core by Premier Software. Part 1. Set up your packages. First, log into configuration if you're a single site business or administrator if you are multi-site. Under the appointment section, click the packages icon to take you to a new screen. To set up your new package, click the green plus button. You will now be able to enter all the details as necessary. First, enter the name of the package in the description box, such as post lockdown relaxation. Then enter what the package entails in the web description box, such as involves hydrotherapy, a massage, and a foot soak. You can also input a web picture URL if you would like a visual representation of your package online. For now, head to the site allocation section. Here you can highlight the site you would like your package to be available at, then click the single right arrow to allocate it there. Alternatively, you can click the double right arrows to allocate the package at all of your sites. Once done, click the green tick. Next, head over to the Site Details tab. Here you can set the price and more details. First, highlight the site on the left. Any changes you will make needs to be applied to each site the package is available at. Next, set the price of the package in the Price box. All of the individual package items that you add must add up to whatever price you set here. You can also set the amount of loyalty points the clients will gain from purchasing the package under Loyalty Add. Should they use their loyalty points to redeem the package, set the number of points this will use under the Loyalty Use box. Next, set the number of days the package can be taken over, as well as the wait time after arrival in the drop down menu available, such as 15 minutes. If the money for the package is to be taken through a different system, click the inclusive box to prevent the user from taking money for the package when it has already been paid for. You can then set the start date the package will be available from, as well as the end date if it's available for only a set period of time. Finally, set the maximum number of clients who can have this package per reservation. If you wish to add a service to the package, click the Add Selection button. You will then receive a list of treatments. Highlight the treatment you would like to add and then click the single right arrow to move this to the allocated box. Once allocated, you can set how many of these you would like to add in the quantity box at the top. Set this and the individual treatment price in the price box. When you're done, click the green tick. Alternatively, if you wish to add fixed appointments or group activities, you can do so with the Add Appointment Group button. The treatment will now be added to the package. Should you wish to amend the length, you can do so using the length drop down menu, as well as any other options next to it, including the green arrows on the left. You can use these to prioritize the highlighted item in the menu, useful when using the book all feature later. Should you wish to add stock to the package, click the add stock button. In the pop-up that then appears, filter the room that the stock will be taken from, which will be main if you only have one stock room set up, as well as the manufacturer and category of the stock. Then click the search button. Once you have found the item in the list, highlight this and click the green tick to add this to the package. You can also add non-stock items to the package, such as a coffee using the add non-stock button. Should you wish to remove an item from the package, this can be done with ease by highlighting the item and clicking the remove item button. Once you have added all the items you wish to add to the package, make sure their value adds up to the total price in the price box above. You will then be able to save the details by pressing the blue back arrow. Part two, setting your package availability. Next, you will need to set the package's availability within each time frame. Head back to the main menu of Configuration or Administrator and under Appointments, click Package Time Band Limits. Click the green plus to create a new package time band. Here you can set the start date of the new time band as well as any applicable end dates. You can also select whether to create a blank time band or one based on an existing package. Click the green tick to complete. Under Time Bands, you can then set up the start time and end time for each band. Following this, under the Limits section, you can set the maximum number of people who can book packages on each day during each time band. For example, 20 people can book a package on Monday during time band 1. You can also set any web booking limits separately. Click the green tick to confirm the details. Next, you'll need to assign the time bands to your packages. Head back to the Packages icon, highlight the package and click Site Details at the top. Head down to the Availability tab next to Information and click the green plus below the box. Then, select the start date you wish the availability to take effect from. Select Create Blank to create a fresh template and then click the green tick. 
This will pull through the available time bounds you have set up for that period. Under the Allow Booking section on the right, tick the time bounds you wish the highlighted package to be available for. If you would like the package to only be selectable on one band from a choice of multiple time bands, tick the applicable boxes and set the number of bands booked as one. Next, set the maximum number of people who can book this package in the booking limit boxes to the left, if these differ from the default in any way. Simply click the cell and input the correct number. Click the green tick on the left of the screen to save the details. Part 3. Booking the Packages To place a package booking or reservation, log in to Reception. Head to the Scheduling section and then click Reservations. Next, locate the client who wishes to place the package booking using the Search function and magnifying glass button in the top. Highlight the client if they have already placed a reservation, otherwise a prompt will appear that no reservations were found and it will ask you to create a new one. Click Yes. On the general details screen that then appears, you will first need to assign a lead name. Click the search button and find the client who is booking the reservation or in charge of the group. Next, specify the number of people in that reservation group. Then, set the arrival date for the group using the drop down option and calendar, as well as the departure date and any times associated with them. You can then select how the client heard about you through the source drop down menu, such as via email. To send any reservation pack or details to them, click the drop down menu under mail merge and whether you wish to send this via post or email. Finally, you can take any payment details required in the top right and necessary notes in the bottom left. Click the green tick and you will then receive a reservation reference. Next, head to the schedule details tab. Here you can identify all clients in the reservation. Highlight the top unknown client and then click the identify client button. Search and locate the applicable client. One of these clients will typically be the one who placed the booking, which will be available to select from the clipboard in the top right from your previous selection. Next, click the Package button and the Select All button for all clients booked onto that package. Click the green tick. You will then be able to select the desired package. Highlight the package as well as the time band they wish to place the booking for, then click the green tick. Should the client wish to add any additional items to their package, they can do this through the Package, Appointment or Group Activity buttons at the bottom of the Schedule Details tab. You can then select the appropriate items and add these on with the green plus button. Once the clients are ready, click this Schedule button. You will be taken to a booking screen. First, highlight the client in the top left and click your preferred tab to show the booking diary, such as Book. Then, under Unscheduled Appointments, select the package and drag and drop this to the preferred slot in the diary on the right. If there are any reasons blocking the booking, this will then be shown, otherwise you'll be able to review the details and click the green tick. You will need to do this for every client, otherwise you can click the Book All button at the bottom to automatically schedule these. Click the back arrow when complete and you will then be able to take payment. You can review the payment details here, such as loyalty points, and click the green tick to head to the payment allocation screen. Select whether the client is paying via cash, check, card or voucher and then click the green tick to complete. The client can then be arrived and departed as normal. You should now know the ins and outs of packages or reservations. In the meantime, why not subscribe to us on YouTube for more weekly how-tos, tips and tricks and click the notification bell to receive updates as soon as they become available. You can also follow us at Twitter at Core by Premier and LinkedIn at Premier Software Solutions for regular content. Take care and thank you for watching.